do you see these water droplets on the outside of this glass? Well, this is nothing but condensation of the water vapor. Now, cooling is like the reverse of heating. When you heat water, it evaporates and when you cool the water vapor, it condenses back into liquid. It's like a little water cycle. That makes sense. But why is it important to know about cooling after evaporation? Well, think about it. We use this idea in our everyday things. Imagine you're sweating on a hot day and as the sweat evaporates from your skin, it makes you feel cooler. That's because it takes some of your body heat away with it. Remember, science is all around us. On that note, can you tell us a few other examples that involve cooling after evaporation? Comment below and subscribe for more such information.